humans turn into creatures when infested with Cleone. This is the revelation they hinted at in the Exciting TV. Little by little, we're getting closer to solving the mysteries of the world. Right in the palm of someone's hand. Hands. Well then. So to wrap up this episode, the next machine part is underneath Mashiro Garden Tower. To get there, we need Clione. These are the two main points. The problem is, right. whether or not Clione is, are edible. Look. You'll get a stomach ache for sure. So the problem is someone would need to transplant a Clione into their body. Clione sounds like a cute name, but they seem more like drift ice devils than angels. Dr. Mamaru. I wonder just what makes a transplant successful. I don't even know that much. At the very least, I know I can't do the job, even if I had the most update to date equipment. But. but you shouldn't. But, but if you were to listen to that show, we can't get to the next ruin unless we transplant Clione. We need to give it a try, at the very least. But we can't get to the next ruin. Our two words are inspiring. My resolve to do something. I agree. I'll do it. I'm pretty sure this is the Clione egg they mentioned. Here! Oh, that's the thing they're talking about on the TV. Good. I grabbed it after we beat the creature. I guess it wasn't ed edible, but we could be, but it could be used as fertilizer. Listen here. No way. Food or fertilizer? That thing doesn't belong in someone's mouth. It's just a small garden, strictly using a natural method, uh, farming method. Amazing! I tell him where the garden is and the reason it's placed there. Then, as if by magic, Rinko and everyone seem to be frozen in time. Just like with me, it takes them a minute for the toilet magic to wear off. Um, we got a little off topic there, but... Zin, do you really intend to be the guinea pig for this? That's right. It's the only way we're getting that machine part, right? No one else seems to be willing. But... We don't know how dangerous this could be. We should talk this over before we decide. Zen. What? Yep. No, no, no. 
There are no police or public servants anymore. I picked it up, so I'll do it. When I went to the shop in the Mashiro Metro Plaza. some personality, don't you? <laughs> See? Well, I'll withdraw if she's nominating herself. Not like I'm dying to be the guinea pig anyways. Zen. Zen hands me an object that feels like a, a of hard rubber. It feels inorganic, not warm or cold. Will it really grow tentacles if I transplant this into me? The image of the creature we run into before all crossed my mind and I almost hesitate. subject is recommended. Each transplant feature aligns and default settings will be set at once so it's safer this way. Is what it says. Well, probably just a recommendation so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Hart is probably right, but sometimes he can be a bit cold. Or more like dry? I crack a joke trying to put a lid on the anxiety creeping up inside me. Let's do this! I choose the Clione transplant option in the menu, and the extend machine vat opens once again. Come on now. You're really going through this, Minamo? Leave it to me. I reply with all the positive energy I can muster, snuffing out the uneasy feeling inside. opens like a cash register with a precious liquid inside. I lean over to peek inside and when I put the Clione egg in it, plop, plop, that's when it happens. Uh. What? Why did you scream just like me? What? My notebook. I must have gotten to tie it closed. I normally be just as I try to reaching into the vats. It slams shut, returning back into the extended oh, machine. What? Catch register vats pops open again. 
as it plays a cheerful electronic sound that look inside right away and grope around the liquid with both hands. But it's gone. The Clione egg and my notebook both gone. <laughs> So what? Nah. But my photo. Oh, I. Will they be mad at me if I take the extend machine apart? Ugh. I shake my head to expel the dangerous thoughts. That's right, a police officer doesn't let her personal affairs get in the way. I should be thinking about what I can do for others instead of worrying about my memorabilia. Let's do this! Um... Hold on, let me check the machine. Have the subjects entered the vats? Subject under four foot in height cannot use Clione due to safety concerns, even if a transplant is successful. So if you're shorter than four feet, does that mean we can't use Clione with a child's body? We don't stay children due to the aging effect, but... What about Shashika? Hmm. I think you're tall enough. I wouldn't want you getting a transplant, though. Yay! All right. So I need to get in the machine now, right? Okay, I wish you the best. <laughs> what if you come out with a notebook sticking out of your body? <laughs> I'm not gonna drown, am I? Well, if I do, I guess they can just extend me again. Once inside the vat, the drawer closes with a me mechanical noise, and I'm swallowed in the darkness. A liquid solution begins flowing into the vats, adding to the fluid's volume. It eventually fills up past my nose and mouth, and I hold my breath, but it's not going to last long. So I am going to drown. I used up all the oxygen in my lungs, and my consciousness begins fading. Then, right as I'm about to lose consciousness completely, the slight. I'm glad you made it out alive. But you don't look any different. Where's the Clione? The bats open and everyone gathers around me as I come to. There isn't a single wound on my body, but. Clione probably in my left arm. I can sort of feel something there. Are you okay? Yep.
Well, we won't know right. until we try it out. I swallow hard, step aside the garage, then focus my will on my left arm. Well? Come out. Come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, 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 come out. <laughs> A sharp pain runs through my arm. And blue stars glitter. <laughs> My left arm rips open. A blood pours from the wound. Countless tentacle emerges from the pain. It's a pretty disturbing sight. Uh, ow, 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 ow! Your arm's getting ripped open! I'm way too preoccupied to answer Rio's screaming and touch the tears. The tentacles grow even longer, bind together and form a bigger mass. It, it's like I'm being eaten from my arm! The pain itself is unbearable. It was nothing compared to the aging effect. Isn't unbearable. What worries me is it's more like it feels like it's something trying to take over my body from my left arm. Oh no, this is bad. It's too dangerous! Put it back for now, Miss Minamo! Put it back? How do I... Go back! I said go back! My thoughts must have reached the Clione. The tentacles slither apart, then withdraw into my the open wound on my arm. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah, I feel better now that the Clione went back inside. Yeah. This has to be CG or something. What's with our bodies and all of this Clione stuff? How can this be? The wound is gone. Did it heal back up when the tentacles withdrew? Mamoru's eyes widen. My left arm is completely healed, only leaving faint traces of blood where the wound was. Impossible! Clione, the tentacle organism. I've never seen such a thing, even with cases involving parasites. My my, it's been one surprise after another since coming to the garage island. That's my love. I guess you could call it a position of love. I had a bad feeling like a life was on the line. Wish he could have called it a doctor's instinct or something. It's the Dr. Ichio. Promotion. I'm glad you're okay, but Dr. Ichio, can you give Minimo a checkup <laughs> just in case? Very well. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh. I appreciate it. Thanks for being the guinea pig, officer. Now we can all transplant Pione without worries. We're headed to the door inside Mashiro's garden tower, right? We can practice on goats along the way. It seems a bit unstable right now. Wouldn't want it 
going out of control and attacking your own group. It's fine. Excuse me. Don't overwork yourself, Minimo. <laughs> No. Uh, no problem. I need to cool it a bit. Getting a little too worked up. The joy from surviving a dangerous experiment. The excitement from l controlling the Clione. And most of all, the sense of accomplishment from being useful to the group. There's a mix of all emotions inside of me. My heart must have felt beat like a drum through the stethoscope. Dr. Mamoru was surprised, then smiled. I can now use Clione. Once we use the Clione to open the way, we find a hole that seems to lead underground. Looky, looky! Oh, there's a ladder. Uh huh. Looks like the tentacle to hell. I can't the wait. entrance to hell. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Ryo's negative joke is instantly being defeated by Shashika's positivity. I'm not sure. Yeah. I once heard about an unused inspection package. Mm. That'd be bad. It's hard to find machine parts while swimming around. Alright. No. No, let me go first. You've already extended so much energy with your Clione, Minimo. You shouldn't. Nice try, but I ain't letting you go down first so you can look up our skirts from below. Hey! I wasn't even thinking about that. Hey now. Harto, how could you, man? I'm offended you of all people would look at me like that. I feel a bit guilty and apologize to Harto in my mind. <laughs> in my mind. I only teased him to hide my anticipation and anxiety. What waits beyond is sure to be placed for my family, and I knew very well. The place where I was at last. 